pan dulce is a very uh, Mexican bread that is variety of uh, any, any shapes. Concha is pan dulce. My name is Miguel Lopez. Uh, we are in Don Paco Lopez Panaderia in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. You know, the, the pan dulce, a lot of people dip it uh, with chocolate or uh, hot chocolate or hot coffee. Is uh, basically what a lot of people love to do that. A lot of people eat it like that and then sip the, the beverage, hot beverage. The mini conchas is $1. The, the regular concha is $1.50. We put all the ingredients that is uh, flour, sugar, uh, margarine, uh, and yeast is, and eggs is the main ingredients. We put all together in a mixer so we can mix probably uh, like 30 minutes to 40 minutes and then we have to take them up, we have to uh, cut it and we have to make the, the small uh, dough balls so we can decide to, to make the process of the bread. Again, it's all sweet bread but uh, we have to make different shapes of the bread. My father, um, he's a good baker in uh, Agatnan. And a lot of people, they remember my father's name because also my grandfather was a baker. My father started at the age of six years old when he started helping my grandfather. And I remember one day he told me that um, at that time, at that age, my grandfather, he used to put um, a box so my father can reach the table. And I started to make the, the dough uh, bowls and started to, to learn how to, is the, the, the bakery process. I can't remember what year was it on, uh, after uh, Hurricane Katrina that they hit us really bad in the south, all the way in Louisiana and that part. In that part of the, uh, of the United States, they have all the uh, big uh, storage for the flour, for the sugar. And that after that, the prices started to increase very, very high. Very, uh, and at one point, we cannot handle the bills. So I come up to the brilliant idea to my, my father and my mom and my family to say, you know, we're going to change some recipes. Like instead of using fresh eggs, we're going to use frozen eggs. And instead of doing this, we're going to use that. So my father come to me and say, that's the, the decision, your decision. I say, yes, because I, I have to save money because we cannot pay the bills. So he said to me, okay, if you're going to change the recipe, you're going to take also the name because the, the recipes, they have to same, be the same that my, grandfa my father um, did in the past. So we have to change the, we didn't change the recipe, we have to continue with the, the same recipe. And my, my father was, was right at that time, I still right. We have to continue with that tradition to be artisanal baker. When I say to, to my mom, why another thing, we can uh, raise the price, but uh, to give an example, the, the flour, they come up three times, or 300, yeah, three, three times of the price, sugar, the same thing. So when I say we have to, you know, increase the price, my mom say, you know what, no. Because mostly our customers, they are hard working people. And they, if we increase the price, instead of coming every day for the bread, they're going to leave them without breakfast. So we have to continue with the price. And also she was right, because after, I, three, I think three or four months, the prices decided to adjust. So they come up uh, and we continue to, to give our customers the service, the, the quality of the bread. Every year, they increase everything, the price of the salary, the insurance, the, uh, the fines, uh, the, the, the electricity. Uh, we try to adjust, but not to damage our customers because our customers are still hardworking people. Mostly of them, they are hardworking people. And 
if we increase the price, they, they're going to keep them without having breakfast. Sometimes you have to sacrifice the profit so continue with our clientele. Because we have a lot of uh, clientele for years. And people that they used to live in the neighborhood, they uh, move to an, another state. Every time that they come to Brooklyn, they continue coming to Don Paco Lopez.